So what what can someone expect uh, when they come out to Wild Spirit Wolf Sanctuary? What kind of uh, what, what should I what would somebody expect as far as like the tour goes? Yeah. So um, in the past, we actually had a guided tour for large groups and you would basically get to walk around our lower compound, which is um, uh, like a small sort of square section of the sanctuary that has our more social and comfortable animals. And on that section, you get to see almost every single one of the species we have. So you'll see pure wolves, pure dogs, wolf dogs, New Guinea singing dogs, Australian dingoes, and red foxes. Um, so that is still going to be our tour path. But when we reopen, we actually are not going to be doing the guided tours anymore. We're actually going to be allowing the general public to come in and do a self-guided tour throughout the lower compound. That way they can take as much time as they want doing things sure. in the interactive education building. So um, we will have signage for all of our species, information on the individual rescues and their stories. We'll also have staff and interns sort of stationed around the facility to answer questions and do um, specialized keeper chats. Mm -hmm. So we might talk about um, species specific topics or upcoming facility related things, um, talk about new companion pairings, new rescues. So people are still getting that access to our staff and right. having the option to engage us. But this is going to allow people to kind of make this their own experience. And um, the only species people won't currently get to see will be our coyotes because they are so painfully shy that mm. it would stress them out too sure. much to have on the tour path. Um, but maybe in the future when we, <laughs> if we have more social coyotes, uh, but they will still get some coyote related information through all of our educational materials. So that's really cool. Um, we're also going to be um, offering specialty tours as well. So if someone does want sort of a more intimate experience that is guided by staff. We'll have a feeding tour, which will take place and allow people to like go through the whole facility with us feeding the animals. So they'll see what that routine is like. Great. They will get to see every animal on the compound. We will also have an enrichment tour. So anyone interested in learning more about enrichment or why it's important or what we offer the animals can come in, help us prep it, help us distribute it, learn about why it's important for animals, especially in captivity. And we'll also have like a VIP behind the scenes tour that will take people all across the entire compound. You'll see every single animal. You'll get to hear some of their stories or, you know, it's kind of a yeah. more of a loosey goosey, like what each group is looking for, for their experience type sure. of a tour, but yeah. that'll be offered as well. So um, yeah, hopefully that will all be ready to roll out in August. Good. And um, those specialty tours will be more of like by reservation only, okay. whereas the general tours will be open four days a week and people can come out, you know, for set hours and people can spend all day here if they want to. That's good. And do you guys still have, I remember when I was out there uh, filming the documentary, you guys had like a little uh, camping campground out in the back. Are you guys still allowing that? Yeah, yeah, we, we hope to be. Um, we're not currently, but we do hope to right. be offering the campground to people once we are reopened. And um, we also have talked about doing something like a camping themed specialty tour but we're still kind of working through the details there but sure. yeah right now we're in a burn ban so it's not a great yeah. time for camping no but i understand yeah once we kind of troubleshoot all of the details of yeah camping in the desert yeah it's a great little spot so i i definitely want to utilize that yeah I, I remember i highly recommend it to anybody in case you guys ever do open it up uh it's just an amazing experience especially you can hear the wolves howling at night it's just there's just nothing like it. I mean, you guys get you guys get serenaded every single night. I mean, that that's got to be amazing. Yeah, it's incredible. And I live just a short ways from the facility, but I can hear them from my house. Sometimes yeah. if I'm feeling really, you know, whimsical and grateful for my life, I'll sit out there and just start howling at the animals and see if they'll <laughs> howl back at me. And I don't know, it's just, it's definitely a very unique experience. And I think something that appeals to a lot of people that are interested in wolves is getting to hear them howl. And during the daytime, that's not always something that you're going to hear because they're usually napping. So right. it's a it's a pretty unique experience to get to encounter that, especially under the stars out here because there's no light pollution. It's just amazing. Right. No, absolutely. It's beautiful out there. Now, how, how, how do you get out there for, you know, for those who've never been out to New Mexico? Uh, what would be the best way recommend? Uh, would you recommend people, uh, especially how to where to stay around there? I know a lot of people are going to be road tripping in the summer, so. Yeah, so we are um, 
kind of out in the boonies here. So if you're on I-40 West uh, or I-40 coming from the east or the west, um, the closest big towns are going to be like Grants from the um, east and Gallup from the west. And we're about an hour plus from either of them. Okay. We have very little cell phone service out here. So anyone that might be wanting to make a trip should absolutely get it on Google Maps or GPS or a regular map if you're old school and um, be prepared to lose cell service. But it is a pretty easy um, commute out here from I-40. You're going to have a couple of um, gravel roads. So if you're coming out during the monsoon season, it's gonna be a little bit more tricky sure. to drive a non four wheel drive vehicle out here. But um, yeah, we are, I, I couldn't tell you the exact roads from either Grants or Gallup since I'm still fairly new to the area, <laughs> but like two and a half hours to the west of Albuquerque, about okay. an hour and 30 minutes from Gallup and about an hour and 15 minutes from Grants. Um, yeah, I think that's as good as I can do, but right. we've got directions on our website and Google Maps can handle it okay. Yeah, definitely. It's a it's a very beautiful place if you guys ever get a chance to go out there, uh, especially when you guys open definitely get a you know go out there uh, at least from what i remember i'm sure that there's really not much out there as far as uh, in case you need to food and stuff like that i'm not sure if you guys have a like a you know a, a, a shop now that it's open for that but in the past you kind of have to bring in everything on your own so is that still the case yeah yeah kind of so there are um some like airbnbs out here there's um ancient way cafe in el moro which has like a little cafe a little coffee shop and then an rv camping space there's a couple of places like that within half an hour's drive um, and then we actually have our trading posts across the way and i say ours not the sanctuaries but like the local community sure. there's a trading post that is hoping to get up and running and reopening soon and once they do, they will have like gas station convenience store style drinks and snacks. And they may also be opening sort of a, a kitchen to do like dining in for hot dogs, burgers, um, things like that. So I'm not sure all what, what they're going to have to offer or when they're looking to open, but right. that may be an opportunity in the in the near future as well. Well, that, that sounds great. Well, definitely keep us posted if there's going to be a grand uh, reopening of Wild Spirit Wolf Sanctuary. I would definitely like to come out and and uh and and visit again it's definitely a really cool place uh if you ever get a chance to go out and visit their little gift shop get yourself some, some cool wolf uh t-shirts like kind of like these inspiration <laughs> of wild spirit wolf sanctuary but yeah it's it's that's amazing thank you Brittany. i really appreciate you coming on to the show uh, i mean is there anything else i could think of would be i mean do you guys have any new rescues you got that you guys are planning in the future uh maybe we can uh you guys can come back and we can talk about that as well yeah so we don't have anything planned right now we are pretty close to our max capacity we've got room for more animal right now but it'll take some doing to find the perfect fit for our single female so it's right. it's going to be very dependent on whether he'll be the right match for her or not. But yeah. yeah, absolutely. When we have something else coming up, I will let you know and see if we can coordinate um, a collaboration of sorts. But for now, we're kind of settling low key with the current uh, population that we have. Yeah, no, that's great. Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear all the good things that you guys are doing out there at Wild Spirit <laughs> Wolf Sanctuary. It was great to finally uh, meet you at least over uh, over the computer uh but hopefully we get to meet each other in person soon and uh, we can actually work on a rescue so we can put it on uh on the new show that we're working on right now yes i hope so i we just keep getting these like pretty easy breezy ones and i just don't know how exciting that is for you guys to film it but you know it's the nature of rescue is always very unpredictable so Absolutely. i have no doubts we'll we'll have an opportunity but I'm glad uh, to have the opportunity to speak with you and uh, get to meet you as well. Yeah. So thank you so much for having me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, yeah, let's definitely keep in touch. And, uh, you know, like as I mentioned, for all you folks who are out there who have not been out to Well Spirit Wolf Sanctuary, definitely get a chance. Uh, go on to the website. I guess uh, there be might possibly reopening in August. But if you get a chance to, you know, to go, I'd highly recommend it. So thank you, Brittany. I really appreciate it. Uh, you have a good weekend. Thank you. Thanks, Alex. You as well. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye. You too. Bye. See ya.